Hey, what's up, guys? Meteorologist Doug Hetty. Uh, it is Tuesday afternoon weather savants video. Um, it, it's heating up. It's going to be hot all week. We're kind of in those dog days of summer, so I hope you are staying cool across the region. First off, let me give a huge shout out to my boy, Superior Roofing and Construction Four State Premier Roofing Contractor. They're locally owned, uh, located in Joplin, 7th and High Street. They did my roof. Gosh, uh, last fall, so if you have roofing needs, make sure you give them a call because these guys know what they are doing. But as of right now, so here's what's going on. We're looking at the LRC and our long-range forecasting pattern. So, of course, this, we've been in the pattern now for uh, almost a year. So it fully sets up right at the end of September, the beginning of October. Now we start the transition meaning kind of the morphing phase from old pattern to new pattern, uh, usually around the beginning of August. So we're right about there. So as we go through August, yes, the old pattern is in place, but we'll start to see new little nuggets of the new pattern as we go through about the next two, two and a half months. This pattern is going to be uh, influenced by an El Nino, which is better than three years of a La Nina. So uh, hopefully with an El Nino and get some more rain in here and break this drought because look what's going on. So let's look at this. Uh, even though we've had rain, we're still in really bad shape. So where you see the brighter reds or I guess the darker reds, that is where we are seeing an exceptional drought. So Kansas City is kind of in a moderate drought. It's just dry on the northwest side. But look at this. So we are in an exceptional drought. So this is kind of over from Sedalia. All the way down to uh, about the Lake of the Ozarks, Truman Lake, uh, very dry. And then extreme drought all the way through from Nevada, Chanute, Iola. Exceptional drought again once you get out across Chautauqua and Elk Counties all the way through Wichita. All the way up to Hayes, we are seeing that uh, extreme or exceptional drought. So we need rain. Unfortunately, there's not going to be much of it. As we go through this week, we have a front that is kind of draped up across parts of Nebraska and Iowa uh, that will give the four state area, meaning Missouri, Kansas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, the entire states, some scattered showers, just not a whole bunch of them. In fact, let's go out there right now. There's not a whole bunch going on. There's one little guy right across the eastern parts of Jasper County. One little guy popped up. So an isolated storm. Uh, can't be ruled out. Some showers, some thunderstorms up once you get across southeastern parts of Nebraska. Let's go through time. Let's go through the afternoon. Look at the heat. 103 Salina, 102 Oklahoma City. Dodge City, 103 near 100 in Joplin. Springfield, Fort Smith, about 96 in Kansas City. As we go through the night, you can see a few hit and miss storms move across northern Missouri over towards St. Louis by Wednesday morning. But look at these overnight lows. Most everybody upper 70s to lower 80s. Now, as we get into the midday hours on Wednesday, you can see some spotty hit and miss showers kind of over by Wichita, southeastern Kansas, back through central Missouri, maybe a few thunderstorms, but this is going to be very spotty. Not a big deal, but if you get stuck underneath one of these, it may rain on you for about 10 minutes, which would be great. And then they kind of dissipate as we go into the afternoon. Look at the highs again. Near 100 in Joplin, Kansas City, 102 Salina, Dodge City, 100, 101 in Oklahoma City. As we go through Wednesday night into Thursday morning, some thunderstorms out across central western parts of Kansas, but they really don't make it even past Wichita. So again, most everybody dry. As we go into Thursday afternoon, look at the heat once again. 101 in Kansas City, 100 in Springfield, 101 in Joplin, 100 in Oklahoma City. So when is this going to end? Well, let's uh, let's look at a little bit of raw data. So what I'm pulling out here is going to be, uh, this is, we're looking at a long range model and this is when we'll start to see some changes. So I, this is the 500 millibar, 15, 17,000 feet, 500 millibars of pressure. I like to use this so I can really see the pattern. So remember the LRC, it's a, it's a recurring cycle. So once we get into the pattern, so the pattern means, man, it's been dry this summer. Man, it's been hot. That's the pattern. But when storm systems come through, that is the cycle. So once you find the cycle, then you can really peg down the pattern. But look at this. Okay. So see this big circle here, New Mexico, that is an upper level high. 
closer this gets to us, pretty much the drier we get and the hotter we get. So let's watch this high. So let's go through this week. We're going to go a few days. We're going to go all the way into this weekend. Look at the high. Now it's centered over Kansas. That's why the triple digit heat sticks around all week and the jet streams way up here. Northern parts of Canada, so we really can't get any storms in here. Now, the high sits on us through the beginning of next week, but watch what happens. It starts to break down a little bit once we get into late next week, and especially the first weekend of August. So what this will do for us is it gets us that northwest flow again. We're going to have to watch that and see if uh, anything does develop hurricane-wise. Uh, in, in the pattern, there's a much better shot here. Uh, kind of September 5th through about 12th for the east coast of Florida. All right, so now we get a northwest flow, so this will cool us down. So now we're looking at next weekend into uh, August 6th, August 7th, and then, of course, eventually that high is going to build right back in as we go into the middle of August. But at least uh, this extreme heat's not going to last more than 10 days and then a little bit of a break before it comes back. Uh, over the next two or three months, we'll be talking a whole bunch more about the pattern as we set up and move into the new one. Uh, and of course, we always cover sh showers and thunderstorms. But And then uh, probably on tomorrow's video or Thursday's video, I'll, I'll give you that chart, the long range forecast, the chart, so you can kind of see and plan ahead for the rest of the summer. All right, guys, hope you have a great afternoon. Any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. We'll chat soon.